It's time to focus on seniors with Helping Seniors TV. The television show designed to make you aware of senior issues and needs, as well as to acquaint you with the resources available to help you age in place and with dignity. Now, here's your host, Joe Steckler. I'm Kay Kaiser and welcome to Helping Seniors, the television arm of Helping Seniors of Brevard County. Our show is designed to provide you with information on how to develop your own aging and care plans. Our topic today is introducing Market Street, a new memory care community. Joining me today is Stephanie Walsh and Christopher Shepard. Welcome both of you. Thank you. Thank We're you for excited having to us. be here. Well, Stephanie Walsh, let's put a title to these names a little bit so that people know what you do with Market Street. You are the executive director, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Oh. Well, talking about prior to Market Street, if I can ask, what kind of background have you had to work with um, this type of facility, if you don't mind? Well, I've actually been with Watercrest Senior Living Group um, with the company for a little over a year now. So okay. we opened a property over in Lake Nona oh, and okay. did a startup there. So this will be our first all memory care community though. So we're very excited to bring it to Brevard County. Excellent. So when you mentioned Watercrest, Watercrest is the quote, corporate umbrella part of Market Street? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you have other locations under that umbrella too. And I'm going to go to Chris Shepard for that one. Chris Shepard. Now here's, here's your tongue twister because your title <laughs> this is Vice President Creative Program Development Watercrest Living Group. Watercrest Senior Living Group. That's we get right. it all out. You got it, right. Gary. You got okay. it. That's right. Wonderful. Um, Maybe it would be appropriate for you to tell the viewing audience about the different facilities that you have throughout the state and where you're going even. Sure, we're very excited. Our company is about four and a half years old. And, that uh, young? Yes, that young. Wow. Uh, we, our uh, owners had made a major impact upon a large regional company, but their values had turned that around and they wanted to create even more change. So four wow. and a half years ago, they began Watercrest. And last October, it's been, not even been a year, we opened our first community in the Lake Nona section of Orlando. Oh, it's an assisted living and memory care nice. community, and that's going very well. We're very excited. The next community to open was in Sebastian. It's called Pelican Landing. Uh -huh. It's also assisted living and memory care. Uh -huh. Then we opened a community in Jacksonville. Actually, today, our first residents move in. Whoa. It's called Watercrest of San Jose. Yeah. It's in the San Jose section around uh, San Marco. Uh, Beauclair area of Jacksonville, assisted living and memory care. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have this community under construction, Market Street of Vieira, only memory care. And uh, we have broke ground yesterday on a, or Wednesday, on a community in Port St. Lucie. Wow. And we have others on the drawing board. So we're very excited, very I excited. I can imagine, well, the yeah. expansion in such a short period of time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will have to say this, that your corporate people have certainly thought that Florida is going to be the place to build. Well, there's a lot of opportunity in Florida and really across the nation when you think of the demographic in well, America, how it's changing, true. you know, the percentage of people that'll be over 65 in just about 10 years is astounding. Well, we know that as a fact. I mean, the statistics, and that I'll, I'll throw out a statistic your way. The fact is that Brevard County, did you know, is the 24th oldest county in the United States. I've read that. Isn't about that about amazing? That's incredible. And if we go by AARP standard, that could account for one in every two people. Right. So, and we know the baby boomers have now aged, you know, gotten into that category. So be careful. I'm one of those baby boomers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to alienate because I'm in that category too. <laughs> but Stephanie Walsh, back to you. Um, what have you found so far? And you're working, I understand, you know, you've, you started, you know, suggesting people take a real good look at Market Street. And what would you say makes Market Street so unique? And Market so Street different? is truly different as far as memory care communities. Um, our owners and our company have really taken 
a very unique vision. Um, we want to make sure that all of our residents have a purpose. Um, just because they're diagnosed with some sort of That's Alzheimer's important. or memory diagnosis doesn't mean that they cannot still enjoy life and Absolutely. have a purpose to the things they do every day. Absolutely. So are you and do you have on your staff coming up that will have um, anyone do assessments with the individuals on a periodic way or time frame to see how they're what their special needs may be? Absolutely. Okay. We will have a resident wellness director who deals with more of the clinical side of things. And then okay. we have a memory care director um, who has an amazing background um, in gerontology and very mm. specifically in Alzheimer's and related disorders. Um, so the combination of those two looking at the resident as a whole can really give them the best quality of life. What have you found, Chris Shepard, to be your experience in the different facilities and what makes Watercrest, the corporate name of Market Street, so unique? Uh, there's so many things, so I'll have to be careful or I can talk forever. But uh, <laughs> I think that uh, we are very much committed to uh, what we call our four Ps. Uh, we're committed to providing a platform for our associates and our residents okay. to really unleash the purpose in their life. We believe that no, everyone, no matter where they are in life, has passion that oh, they have sure. to experience and great potential. So Watercrest really searches for that in all of our residents, whether they live in an assisted living community or a memory care community. Okay. Um, I love to tell this one story and then I'll be I, quiet. No, that's good. Cool. All right, I think you it, go. I think it demonstrates how our commitment and what we're searching for and what we hope to tap into and what we experience. We mm -hmm. see this happening. Um, we have become partners with many people across the country and or friends. And uh -huh. we became friends with some key researchers at the University of California, San Francisco. Oh. And they are uh, one of the top research hospitals for Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And uh, they released a paper two years ago that showed that those with Alzheimer's specifically, mm -hmm. as their cognitive abilities decrease, their ability to act, connect emotionally with those near them actually increases. So oh, interesting. I think that's I've never so, heard that, that angle amazing? before. So that's yes. so exciting because that shows that no matter where we are in our life, mm -hmm. even if we can no longer smile, sure. even if we can no longer verbally communicate, right. there's still lots of potential to be tapped and what that oh, can mean yeah. for families and friends. Oh, absolutely. So we love that because we're not just providing quality care. Mm -hmm. We're unleashing the potential within every individual. And that's a, that makes it different mm -hmm. for our associates when they come to work. It sure. makes it different for families as they interact in our community. It makes it different for our community partners, our volunteers. Oh, um, absolutely. That's, 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 a, that's something we're very passionate about. Well, I love that word, that people have a purpose. They may be diagnosed with dementia or Alzheimer's and so forth, and people say, well, I can't deal with that person anymore. But when you reach really deep down and understand that, wait a minute, I bet you liked the big band era, didn't you? Sure. And these certain little memories of them growing up and having fantastic thoughts and memories, you know, that give them that purpose for living and remembering those things that I was really happy, you know? So, and that's what you're, you're trying to achieve from what I understand to make that individual a really happy person in their environment, right? We do achieve it, actually. And there it's, you go. It's, it's exciting. I mean, we could tell story after story where we've seen people, uh, their whole, everything about their life change as we're able to learn to tap into what actually excites them, what turns them on. Chris Shepard, would you like to share a story then? Uh, You've got an open mic. Go sure, right ahead. I do. Um, yes. There is a, a dear lady that we had living in one of our communities, an uh, incredible woman. But she was often very quiet. She lived kind of in a world of her own. Mm -hmm. And uh, so people were always very friendly to her, but she was withdrawn. And uh, we have a technology in our communities called It's Never Too Late. Have you ever heard of it, Kay? Uh, it's somewhat, amazing. but I bet it's different from it, your community. It's very, <laughs> yes. it's incredible. Okay. And it, it, it is a software, but it's, uh, it, um, it's much more than you can find on your desktop or your laptop. Oh, when yes, families come yes. into our community, they want to go there to interact with their loved one. Yes, So it's yes. not everything that we do isn't based on that, but it definitely provides some great times. Absolutely. And so one day we were looking at the never too late, the 70 inch screen monitor mm -hmm. with different residents, finding yeah. places that they lived across the world. And it looks much different than on a 70 screen monitor, the street. And oh, yes. This uh, little lady huh. uh, remembered all at once the address where she lived had grown up in Harlem. I'll be doggone. And so we went there, and at that moment, her daughter came in. I really wondered, is this really it? 
But when she start when she、uh, saw the place, she started telling us all about it. How、uh, her mother raised her, what、wow. where she had gone to grade school. She took us there down the street on the 70th Street Monitor. We went three blocks. Her daughter was there. Her daughter was in tears. She said, "I can't believe my mom is doing this."、Wow. She's talking the whole time, telling、wow. us all about it. Everyone in that room. Became connected to that woman in that day in a、oh, way that they'll、imagine. never forget, and it impacted their family in a way that they've never forgotten. So that's just one example. So everything we do is、wow. designed towards connecting, and, and bringing, that's so important. It is so it is. so important. So I told you I couldn't stop. No, I think you're doing great. <laughs> Again, the, Chris Shepard, Stephanie Walsh, helping seniors television arm is here to. Come to a level to help educate our listening and viewing audience out there. We have an outreach media program with print, radio, TV, and today you're on the TV section. So it's important to share these stories because people are going to remember. Hey, I remember Chris Shepard telling me about a lady, you know, who remembered everything in Harlem where she grew up, that opened up that connection. Now I've got to check out Market Street.、Mm. You see how I'm paralleling and connecting the dots and eyes to say, you know, that's something that people will remember. Part is so important for us to be able to help educate our seniors and caretakers, because without education, and education is power, right? Absolutely. You know, we can't discover what it is that we need to find. So I do the flip side of the coin by, as an information specialist, taking those callers and saying, okay, and developing relationship with them on the phone, because typically I'll find that somebody has more than one resource that they may be looking for.、Mm -hmm. Sure. So I take the time with them to help understand what they're looking for in order to give them. I want you to call this person. I want you to call this company. I want to call this agency, et cetera, down the line, and you know, follow up with them to see how those resources are working. That's exciting. That's、yeah. a great connection、yeah. right there. So、okay. it's it's helping seniors is all about educating and providing the appropriate resources to our callers that call in. So never apologize for sharing a story. That's something that people are going to remember. Well, what's your, been your experience, Stephanie Walsh, so far with Market Street? What do you find that's exciting and happening with you? Well, like Chris said,、um, so many of our activities and different things that we do are meant to bring back those memories. So we do so much with sensory therapies, with、um, music, with smells,、um, yeah. different things. You know, so Market Plaza. Which is the main part of our building is、mm -hmm. set up、um, to be almost a downtown park-like setting. It's we beautiful. We have a tree. We、yeah. have park benches, tables,、yes. um, and we actually have storefronts that are functioning. So we have a bakery. We have a post office. Wait a minute. Go back. Uh, did you hear that? <laughs> she said they have a bakery. Yes. We do. So, so, so <laughs> maybe this smell of cinnamon.、Mm. Yeah. So, so those are all to the really, senses. Absolutely. I get it. So I get it. So reignite、okay. those memories, you know, of baking, of doing those activities when they were at home, and. Just really being able to connect to them again at that point in their life. Excellent, and I know you have a little herb garden、oh, too. Yes, land. Yes, and maybe even more. But、yeah. anyway, <laughs> the bottom line is that you have a unique concept.、Um, you know, you you have a virtual tour on your website, which We is、do. really awesome.、Yeah. I don't know how you got those doors to open up on them. Isn't that beautiful? It's、you、so、know? exciting. <laughs> yeah. Somebody get invisible to be behind to open those. <laughs>、yeah. But it's exciting the fact that you've got this beautiful open plaza that can help people feel wow. And、uh, who came up with the covers on the top? That, Isn't that gorgeous? Oh yeah, the my clouds, gosh! The sky. You have the, the blue,、sky. and then the clouds, and、yes. again, we can change some of the lighting, and you know, help mimic some of the weather outside with different sounds and different things there in the plaza、wow. as well. That's amazing. What a great place for families to come and friends to visit with、oh, the people golly, they love、yes. and enjoy the surroundings instead、yeah. of just focused on what might be wrong. Right. You know, you know that's, that's a, a good, good point,、thing. Chris Shepard, and focusing on what may be wrong. You know, to enjoy their environment,、right. Right. to make them feel like, oh, this is really special, right? And, and for the residents to feel that they can be 
independent, that they can go out to the park and walk around on their own, that they're not limited to a room or a dining room. Right. That's so important. You it's know, pretty exciting. You know, to get out and not be isolated. Right. That's so important. Socialization. Mm -hmm. Socialization. Mm -hmm. Yes. and pulling it out so you've got big plans for the future don't you definitely <laughs> what is actually going to be your your resident occupancy there we have a total of 60 apartments we have two separate neighborhoods um, that have 30 apartments in each okay and the two separate neighborhoods entail what more. That is more of what you would consider the living quarters. Okay. Um, Market Plaza kind of divides the two. Um, and then each neighborhood does have a separate dining room okay. just so that there's not overstimulation for those residents during um, okay. dining times, but they all will have access to the Market Plaza. Okay. And they all have their own interior courtyards too, which are beautiful. Oh, wow. And, uh, I didn't I mean, realize beautiful, that. Beautiful deluxe sitting area, fireplace, and uh, wow. The IN2L in each community, in each neighborhood. I mean, it's a, it's a great, it's very well thought out. Well, it's, your corporate certainly yeah. has really thought this project out and what they're yes. doing because I have not heard about anything even close to this with the, what you're doing. Um, what is the age bracket for someone to come in? Um, we don't have a, you know, a standard cutoff for an age. Um, there does have to be some sort of memory impairment, obviously. Okay. Um, but really, we just take it case by case um, as far as evaluating residents that will come in um, to see um, if they're appropriate for this setting more than anything. Okay, so in other words, they don't have to be 62 or 65 no. and up? No, no, I mean, we're, we're catering to seniors, obviously, right. but mm -hmm. not, um, not a specific age limit. You know, if you're 61, we're not going to tell you that you're not considered a senior. If okay. um, you have early onset dementia, and that's an appropriate setting for you. Okay. Well, let's talk about somebody typically looking into Market Street. And maybe it's a son or daughter saying, you know, I'm concerned about mom. She's not remembering as much as she used to. She can't remember what she did yesterday. And now it's to a point where she can't remember who I am, you know, so we know the progression and all that. Um, so in looking at Market Street, I think you've already identified, both of you, the uniqueness of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about some of the maybe other amenities that they can experience at Market Street. Well, one thing that we're very excited about is our dining, our culinary experience. Okay. It's a Mediterranean-style diet that will be offered to the residents. Oh, really? And that, that's just so healthy, you know, a concentration on fish and grains oh, and gosh, fruits yes. and lean meats. And I think that's, I think the diet definitely benefits who we are and how we feel oh, and how yeah. we interact with others. Now, what if somebody's diabetic? Will you be catering to their special needs? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, okay. Uh, so that's just one area. Uh, we'll have extensive exercise programs. So uh, we, offer, we offer programming, over 20 programs every day in each neighborhood. Oh my gosh. And then gosh. there's programs in Market Street. And so every neighborhood will have programs and Market Street will have programs. So wow. it's pretty phenomenal. Um, we give residents and their family members every chance to be engaged in any way that they want. And another exciting thing about that is all of our associates are um, trained in programming and engaging with the residents. Mm -hmm. So it's not, in Market Street, it's not like you would walk in and see 10 or 12 people sitting together in one program and maybe a few others just sitting around. Right. Our, our associates are so engaged that um, you might see two or three with a resident, uh, an associate. You might see one resident with an associate. Wow. But our, our, our goal and the way in reality is that every, it's so individualized. Every resident has an opportunity to be engaged. Wow, that's, that's, that's really That's a great important. thing. That's a gift. Yes. That's a gift. That definitely is. So I was going to say, what separates you from another memory yeah. care, you know? You know, what makes you unique? Well, another thing about it, too, that I think that makes us unique that we're very excited about is there's a training called Certified Dementia Practitioner uh -huh. uh, where uh, a person who goes through that training has the opportunity to learn a great deal about dementia and how to relate with those who have dementia. Sure. And every associate in our community is a Certified Dementia Practitioner. Really? So whether wow. you work in housekeeping or culinary okay. or whatever it is, you are a Certified Dementia so Practitioner. So they've all gone through that course. How and long does know, that take normally? For them to go through the go course ahead. it's a day-long course okay. um, our memory care director is actually um, certified in that um, which okay. is very unique yeah um, that it 
takes a lot to get that certification. So she is certified um, to provide that training. Oh, excellent. It's an eight hour day. It's exciting that they go through that. So we're investing in that, in them. So even your housekeepers money, everybody, and your culinary, your cooks, everybody, everybody needs to go through that. So they understand them, yeah. and appreciate the residents. It's actually, it makes it, it changes our community from having a job to having a vocation, to having a calling. It truly does. Our yeah. associates will tell you that in every community, how grateful they are to have that training. Wow. It makes a huge difference. That's, that's just one That's other. definitely unique. It's very exciting. I would exciting. say that brings you a step above in, in making sure that all of your associates, you know, understand that you're dealing with people that may not remember your name right. all the time, but you make them feel comfortable. Right. You know, Absolutely. so that extra and above is, I think, very important. Well, why and maybe what have you found about um, the opportunities in Viera? You know, why did you choose Viera out of all Brevard area? Well, I will tell you this, and then I'll let Stephanie address that. I'm just so excited about the partnerships that Stephanie and her team have already established in Viera. What have Viera you... is such a vibrant, growing community. Yes. It's one of, to me, one of the most exciting parts of Brevard County. Yes. So for, and their, their partnerships have reached across the county, all throughout the county. I'll let her tell you about that, but yeah. we've been talking earlier today, and I, it's exciting. And we are very much driven, our company is, with community partnerships and well, establishing common unity with the communities we live in. So go ahead. Yeah, Brevard County in general has been so welcoming. It's such an amazing place to be able to build a community. Um, we have gotten nothing but positive feedback, and that has helped us you know, grow and nurture all these relationships. So we you know, have developed those with churches, with physicians, um, uh, with uh, the Alzheimer's Foundation, um, mm-hmm. you know, all these different places across the county that have just been so welcoming. And like Chris said, we're huge on community outreach. You know, we want to be a true part of the community and give back to the community as well. Excellent. So we're That's... trying to incorporate, you know, volunteers into our community. Mm-hmm. We're working with some of the local churches to bring children in. Um, you know, just things that truly make our community, um, you know, just outstanding and well, give our residents cool. that community. So you've made those connections. Mm-hmm. That's yes. really, really important. You know, again, it brings you a step above to make sure that you're, uh, for lack of a better word, networking with these different, you know, churches and so forth to say, hey, look, we're here to help you. Right. Well, it's remarkable you know? because our residents, just because they live in our community, doesn't disengage them from the broader community they live in. Exactly. So our goal is to connect them with the broader community they live in even right. more than they were when they were living at home. And that's that, that too, you know, creates that passion is, in their life yes. and unleashes that potential. Uh, that's exciting. Oh, without a doubt. I think yeah. that, you know, those connections can be invaluable for you. And yeah. as you progress here and, you know, out back in another year and see where you are, <laughs> you'll yes. be beaming from when... We're already beaming, <laughs> we but we'll be beaming now. Now. I can yeah. see it already. I can yeah. see it already. We're truly excited. How, how are you finding that people, other than the fact that you've partnered and you've networked with people, but, you know, the general public that may not know about Market Street, mm-hmm. how, are you, how are you reaching out in different areas besides helping seniors and providers? <laughs> yes, that's a huge part of it. Yes, it is. Uh, um, we are really just, um, you know, trying to meet everyone we can. And um, our sales office right now is actually located inside of one senior place mm-hmm. um, until we get moved into our community. So that's been a great resource as well. You know, we've made so Good. many connections and um, just gotten to reach a lot of people from the community just coming in there, um, mm-hmm. you know, and getting to, to meet them. Absolutely. And the Brevard Alzheimer's Foundation has been so friendly to us. Um, Good. Some of the churches, Blessed Trinity, not Blessed Trinity, I'm in Orlando. St. John the Evangelist <laughs> yes. Catholic Church has been phenomenal to us. Oh, uh, Church fantastic. at Vieira, Calvary Chapel of Vieira, the Love Led Vieira High School has been great in responding with us. Fantastic. Um, and and uh, some local synagogues, uh, Health First. It's just, we could go on and on about yeah. the way people have responded as we've reached out and they've reached out to us. So That's this wonderful. has been a great community to be connected it to. It really is. It's a it's a yeah. big secret, let yeah. me tell you. <laughs> people are going to find out this Brevard County is a place to move. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hope they move to the Market Street. So yes. <laughs> I think you've got such an unusual concept of what you're doing with the plaza mm-hmm. and, the, you know, that making sure that you're reaching out to the people to bring their purpose out, as you say, Chris Shepard. We've got approximately two minutes here to sum things up. Let's stay with Chris first. 
How would you sum up Market Street? <laughs> I would say if you live here in the Vieira area, your area, anywhere in Brevard County, come and visit us. Contact Stephanie because you will have never been in a memory care community like you would experience at Market Street of Vieira. When you go in, you will think, oh my gosh, I want to live here. It is <laughs> phenomenal. So come and check it out. Contact Stephanie. They can arrange a tour. Uh, you would enjoy it. It would be a great experience. Do they get to sm- do they get to try a cinnamon bun while they're there? When the bakery's <laughs> open, they sure can. But Absolutely. they can arrange tours now because we can do a dusty boot tour. So they can contact Stephanie and get okay. into the community even now. So oh, I would excellent. do that. You'd enjoy it. Fantastic. And Stephanie Walsh, Executive Director, how would you sum up here to our viewing audience? Well, like Chris said, we are um, doing tours and actually accepting reservations now, even prior to opening. Mm-hmm. Um, we are opening in October, so we are getting so close. The building is already looking phenomenal. So, you know, we love doing tours through there and just being able to really show people um, as the community is coming together. So Excellent. Um, just contact us and we can do that. Or even our website has the virtual tour that we were talking about. That Let's give your a website really good here. Idea also. Go ahead and mention so. that on the TV program here. It's www.marketstreetresidence.com. Okay. And when you go to their website, you click on communities, as I recall. Yes. And then you click on Viera. Viera. All right. Yeah. And as you scroll down, you'll see your picture. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I've investigated it pretty intensely. Thank you, that's great. <laughs> yeah, uh... But click that little arrow that'll take you through the doors that open magically and, mm-hmm. and show you the Market Street Plaza. And, and you can see what we were talking about, the clouds on the top of the ceiling and, <laughs> and the beautiful Close. environment that you have set forth here. It's just amazing. Yes. I think the concept is unique. And with Market Street, part of Watercrest, Senior Living Group. Senior Living Group that you should owe it to yourself. Give Stephanie Walsh a call. What number can they reach you at? 321-253-6321. Okay. Well, with that, I want to thank you for watching today's episode of Seniors, Helping Seniors of Brevard. And I specifically want to thank Stephanie Walsh, Chris Shepard for being part of this excellent program. Thank Thank you you so much for having us. You're welcome. I'm Joe Steckler. Thank you for joining our program today. I'd like to remind you that our senior information line is available to you at 321-473-7770. There you can get help and direction that could be helpful for your specific situation or circumstances. The work of helping seniors is very important, but we can't do it alone. That is why our sponsors here in Burrard County are so important. I'd like to thank our many area sponsors, businesses and medical providers who support the mission of helping seniors that help us carry the cost of our media efforts. If you'd like to join us either as a business partner or simply donate as an individual, we would welcome your call at 321-473-7770. You are always welcome to visit our website at www.helpingseniorsofbrevard.org. Thanks so much for your help. It does make a difference.